tomorrow's a big day. We're gonna finally blow some bubbles. By the way, have you guys ever wondered what these yellow poles mean when you're visiting the beach? Specifically here in the Panhandle Gulf Coast of Florida. I thought it was a decoration. It's not. Well, what is it exactly? These yellow poles are basically a guidance if you wanna be able to get out to the reefs. They have a ton of artificial reefs here on the Gulf Coast of Florida. So when we first walked up to the beach here for Great Beach State Park, we saw something that said Turtle Reef. And we were like, oh my gosh, it's a reef for turtles. Not exactly. They're, the reason they call it Turtle Reef is it's an artificial reef in the shape of a turtle. <laughs> well, that's handy dandy, really cool. Basically, in order to find the reef, these poles serve as like a guideway. And what you do is as you're paddling out to where the reef is, you want to look back at shore and these two yellow poles need to be completely lined up so that you only see one yellow pole. And that way you know that you're on course to go to this reef. How cool is that? Hold on, let me try this out. I want to see if this is really, you're, are you messing with me or being real? This is really happening, isn't it? So if they're lined up, we're good. And if they're off, we're not good. This looks really good. So it must be out there somewhere. But if we were like this, this is bad? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, if the poles are, if you see two poles, you're off course. Man, the more you know, where did you learn this? Where does this information lie in your head? The internet. What is that? Well, the YouTube or just going to like the websites for these beaches. You'll see other reefs, not just turtle reef, but there's a seahorse reef, there's a dolphin reef. Wow, it's really sunny out. I can barely see you guys. Speaking of sunny, look me in my eyes and tell me how you expect us to carry all the scuba gear from the truck out there and survive all the heat because it's going to be yeah. heat index tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be hot. It's going to be even more toasty than it is today. Not only do we have to find this reef tomorrow, but we also have to carry heavy gear in the hot sand. We also are thinking, will we find parking during the day tomorrow? Because we are not walking all of our gear from the campsite. I don't know. There's a lot of concerns. I worry about these things. I don't know how we're actually going to make this happen because if there is no parking, there's no way we're going to like be able to carry all that gear from our campsite here, survive the heat, we're going to get dehydrated, Carl's going to get extremely sunburned, and we may not even find this reef. How far off is this, the shore is this reef? Well, that's another concern is they said it's, it's not hard to paddle out there and then snorkel, but if you are like shore diving, which is what we're doing, it's a bit of a swim. It's like almost 0.15 miles or that might be what it is. Is there any pluses to this? The pluses is that we might see some cool marine life. Like, like I heard what? there's sharks out there. No way, you see? Yeah. Like what kind of sharks? Like big ones? I don't know. Um, like five, six foot sharks or what? I don't know. They just said there could be sharks. So we'll Great. see. We'll let's, see. let's just go find out. Let's oh, and jellyfish. Oh. Because as you can see, they are flying the purple flag. It's yellow and purple, which means there's stinging marine life and then yellow means like mild currents. I feel like this story just keeps getting more and more intense as we go along and there's, we always set ourselves up for that. There's don't a we? lot we gotta worry about tomorrow. Great. I hope Hopefully, we make it. Yeah. Can we at least look forward to normal fish? Maybe. Alright, I'll take it. I guess we'll just stress about this tonight. Wow the sand is squeaky. dive flag and um so i went to a dive shop that i just found through like google it's called dive 30a and 30a doesn't mean 30 amp that's just the highway but either way if you guys are looking at like where you should come and get gear or if you want some information about where you can snorkel and some cool stuff just head to your local dive shop it's not just information for scuba divers it's also like uh, gear and information you need for actual snorkeling. Uh, we're really excited because it's been a while since we went diving, but it sounds like we're just gonna go do a shore dive from Great Beach State Park and just go all the way out to the Turtle Reef. How cool is it that we finally have our own dive flag? Uh... Good morning and happy Friday to you all. So what's the game plan? Dive shop, then the beach. Yeah, we're just gonna go right to the beach and hope that we get a parking spot because I don't think we will. I think it's already full. Babe, it's only nine o'clock. 
Oh, it's summer. I always forget about that. Come on, Carl. Oh, Dexter's going with too. Wow. What do you got there? What is that thing? This is the reel so we can um, hold on to the flag, you know, for real. I was just going to say knew that. You, you knew, knew I was going to say I that. I was waiting to like have you stop talking so I could nope, be like, for like, real. I'm done. You go dying by yourself. Oh have a good night. No, I'm done. Gotta go get our gear and then we are headed right to the parking lot, which is where we are. So we're basically going to the dive shop, coming back, and really hoping that we're gonna get a parking spot. I'll know if we'll get a parking spot when we pull out of this thing, if they have the sign up that says, daily admission parking is full. I don't know what we're gonna do if that happens. We'll have to walk all of our gear like half a mile to the beach. Do, is there anyone we know who has a golf cart? <gasps> you know what? No, we don't. have just disappeared. Okay, I'm gonna get close on my side. Look at this. Handy dandy parking. Wait, you can get a little closer on this side. Okay, well, I got there, baby. You thirsty? Ugh. I'm already dehydrated, bro. Here's the plan. We are going to get the tanks and everything all hooked up and set up. You're not listening. <sighs> yeah, and? Listen, I need you to be Kyle, not Carl right now. What's up, baby? <laughs> Kyle here. I don't believe you. It's Ken and it's Carl still. <laughs> Let's get all the like the tanks set up and ready so that, and then we'll lay them down. And then we'll uh, sunscreen and suit up, like get our sunscreen and all that on. I love how you gotta state the obvious, you know? No, it's but like... I was worried you would put sunscreen on first. <sighs> no, 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 no. No, not at all. <laughs> Be quiet, you. I don't know about you, but it is extremely hot right now. I'm ready to get in the water. I'm gonna die a heat stroke before I actually get in the water. I heard there's jellyfish and sharks, so it should be a good time. It's gonna be fun. Keep it fresh. That's how we do it in the Hanks family. You could stick it through here, I A thought. pocket or something. Yeah, there's... Like, usually you could just kind of coil it and put her in the pocket there. Yeah, I don't... I need it, like, handy. I can't have it, like... Yeah, that only monitors how much air you have left. What's, what's so important about that? Yeah, I know. Nay went to go just cool off real quick in the showers. We're getting ready to go out, but man, you gotta find every bit of shade you can. I'm hiding in the shadow right now and trying to hide from the sun, but the problem is with Florida, there's no hiding from the heat because it's just pure humidity. It's like you're walking in a hot sauna all the time. But we should be all set up, gear's ready to go. The only pain in the butt is we have to carry all this gear to the beach, which is probably 150 yards away from here. Maybe 100, so maybe I'm over-exaggerating, but nonetheless, 
strap in. We'll do all the heavy lifting. You guys just enjoy the ride. I'm ready to go. I'm nice and cool now. What's up, bro? Well, that was a long walk. Not here. Oh, the water feels so good. Oh, it's like bath water. Kind of sucks as bath water, but it's better than nothing. I'm not complaining. Are you complaining? <laughs> a little trick here. This thing controls if we go up or down. So if I squeeze the blue button, we go up. Like the vest around me blows up with air and we go up. And then if I press this black button on top, it lets all the air out and we start sinking. Oh, I see so a cool trick is, so you don't waste your air because this air comes from your tank to blow up. You can actually hold this black valve and manually breathe into it. That way I'm not using all my air on my back and I have a whole other time to stay down underwater. Or you know. Day 36. I've been out here all alone. Where's my wife? That girl, man. You think she's hard to find at the grocery store? Take her out to sea. You'll lose her just as quick. There's those yellow poles way down beyond Renee. Those are the yellow poles like you try to keep them lined up. We're slightly off, but we're almost there. Once they're lined up and you only see one pole, you know you're in the right heading. So we're headed that way. Dad joke. What's that? Oh yeah? Oh nice. I think I'll check it out. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, you ready to go now? So that guy gets Scott done say there might be a shark out here, so we're gonna go check it out. That'd be cool. You wanna go see a shark? Turtle Reef is one of many artificial reefs located offshore at Grayton Beach State Park. Diving is one of the many ways to experience Turtle Reef, with snorkeling being the most popular. These fiberglass pilings sit six feet below the water and are what create the turtle design you see from above. We spotted what we believe to be a reef shark but we're only able to catch just a glimpse before it took off into the abyss. Hundreds of fish swarming around us almost made us lose our sense of direction, but in the best way. It can be a bit of a swim to the reef, so it is recommended to have a kayak, paddleboard, or even some sort of flotation device. Well, that was pretty awesome. Got to see lots of fish. I saw a couple sharks. I was trying to get them on camera, but they were so quick. I think I saw about a five foot shark down there. There was two of them, actually. Renee was able to see them as well, so that was really cool. God, this is amazing. I love it. I'm gonna come diving more.